It was the last year of Franz Kafka's life, and we were in love. One summer morning, Franz and I was going for an as usual walk at Stieglitz Park in Berlin. It was a place full of life. There were couples, elder people, and children. Franz loved watching people. Suddenly, Kafka stopped while we came across the girl sobbing. She was heartbroken because her beloved doll had been missing. Kafka calms her down by saying that her doll had gone on a holiday and as he's a doll postman, doll left a letter to him that he will bring next day. He arrived home feverish to write the letter. He was thinking about the mystery he had just created, the traveling doll. If he can come up with a beautiful and persuasive lie, it will replace the girl's loss with a different reality. A false one, maybe, but something true and believable according to the laws of fiction. Although he was a writer, but he had never written a letter by himself. With the same focus that he applied to all his writing, he composed a letter from the doll and read it to her when they met the next day. Please do not warn me, I had gone on a trip to see the world. I will write you about my adventures. This was the beginning of many letters. Over 13 days, he brought letters to the park every day in which the doll tells of her adventures, which he had written the night before. When the meetings came to an end, Kafka presented her with the new doll that obviously looked different from the original one, but an attached letter explained, my travels have changed me. The girl had forgotten about the real toy that she had lost. Kafka died after some days. Many years later, the now grown girl found a letter inside the doll. In a tiny letter signed by Franz Kafka, it was written, Everything that you love, you will eventually lose, but in the end, love will return in a different form.